Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Sega Dreamcast games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is open up your Play Store. And once your Play Store is opened up, we're going to be searching for and installing two apps. The first of these is going to be RetroArch. This is going to be the free multi emulator we're using in today's video. It's a really, really nice app. It's 100% free. And this is the first thing we need to install. The second thing we're going to be installing is another free app called Z Archiver. Z Archiver is a compression and extraction tool and a general file management software for your Android device. It's something I'd recommend having there regardless. However, it's going to be the second app we're going to be needing to extracting games on our Android device a little bit later on. From this point, what we need to do is open up RetroArch. And if this is your first time opening the app, you are going to have to allow it access to your phone storage. From this point, what we're going to be doing is loading and downloading a core. To do this, what we're going to be doing is clicking the load core option at the very top. And we're going to be scrolling all the way down until we see the Sega Dreamcast core right here. To install this core, you simply need to click on it once. Some text will appear at the bottom to say your core is downloading. Once this core is installed, we're ready to go over and start talking about our Sega Dreamcast games. From this point, you're going to be opening up the archiver and you want to locate to where your games are currently downloaded. In this case, you can see I have a dedicated folder called Dreamcast where I have Mortal Kombat Gold right here. Now, most likely when you download your games, they will come in a .zip. .rar or possibly even a .7 zip file. In this case, you will need to extract these files out to be able to play them in RetroArch. To extract a .rar, we need to locate to the file with the archiver. Click on the file once. We'll then have the option to extract here if you'd like to extract the game in its current location or extract dot 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 if you'd like to choose where to extract it. In this case, I have this folder specifically for Dreamcast games, so I'm just going to be clicking extract here. And this process may take a couple seconds to a couple of minutes, depending on your phone and depending on how big the game file is. In this case, it didn't take too long for me. Once your game is extracted, you're going to be looking for a .cdi format, and that's exactly what we're going to be looking for RetroArch. Now, I will mention in today's video, I'm not going to be showing you where to download games, although games are really, really easy to find. A quick Google search will help you out. However, once you have your games downloaded and extracted, we're ready to come back over to RetroArch. We're going to be clicking on the home button on the bottom left. We're then going to be looking for the load content option right here, and you're going to be locating to where you just extracted your games. In this case, I have mine in my Dreamcast folder right here. You can see my .cdi file shows up here in RetroArch. What I'm going to be doing is selecting my file. It will automatically load this game using the selected core. And you can see just like that, my game is being played right away without any issues. Now, depending on your phone and depending on the hardware you have, will determine how good this plays. In this case, I'm using a OnePlus 7T with a Snapdragon 855 Plus. So I had no issues running this game at a decent speed. But depending on your phone's hardware, this may vary. So it is always recommended that if you have a more powerful phone, this will most likely run smoother. Now, I would also recommend if you can to connect up an external control Controller. Thankfully with Android, there is a bunch of different controllers you can use. What I'll be doing is leaving a link in the description down below to how to connect up some controllers to your Android device, but also how to set up a controller in RetroArch. Anyway guys, it's as easy as that to play Sega Dreamcast games on your Android device. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.